Hello crafty friends and welcome to another in our geometric pattern stamp series. Today we're going to be working with these stamps here, these square, individual square stamps. I did do a video featuring this stamp here. So if you want to look at that or any of the others in the series, check out the playlist that's linked in the video description. I think for now we have reached the end of this series. There are a few stamps that I have not used yet. Some wiggly lines, a few of the petal teardrop shapes, arrow chevrons, the love sentiment here. But I think I'm going to set this aside for a while and then come back to it with fresh eyes and try and use these at a later date. So if you want to see that or any of my future videos, hit the subscribe button and the notification button and check that notifications are switched on on the device that you are using. You obviously don't need to have the exact stamps that I've got here. Any square stamps will do for this project. To make things as easy as possible for me, I'm going to use my stamp positioner and I've got a four by six inch piece of smooth white cardstock here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is stamp the sentiment. This says happy birthday and it comes in two pieces and I'm lining it up square on my piece of card using this set square, getting it parallel here along this line and then this should be straightened. By pushing these up against there, I should get them parallel to this line. These stamps didn't come from the geometric shape stamp set, they're from a different stamp set, but I thought they worked well with squares because they're full rectangles. And I'm stamping these in black to make them really stand out. And now again, I'm going to use my set square and I'm going to use this to line up the stamps, my square stamps. We'll start with the three largest square stamps. One's a solid, one's got dots and one's got chevrons. And I'm going to add a bit of stick glue to the door of my stamp positioner to help these stamps stick because, as I've said in every video in this series, these are silicon stamps, not photopolymer, so they're not quite as sticky. And I just want to check that that is fine and that is hovering above. The inks I'm going to use today are all from the party collection and I've got all my greens and blues here. And greeny blues and bluey greens. So for this first row of stamps I'm going to ink up the bottom in Aquatini and the top half in all that jazz. Not being particularly careful about where the two colours meet on the stamps I'm going to repeat stamp this several times to get a good coverage and a good impression. Before I take these stamps off, I'm going to cut some masks. Because these inks are really juicy, I'm going to do two layers of sticky notes to make my masks. And I think I can probably get away with just using the residual ink on there. Now I'm going to cut out my masks. So now I've covered up the front row of boxes or squares and now I'm going to add a second row. I'll use my set square again and these are going to be protruding out from behind this first set of squares that I've stamped. Okay, so now we'll choose some other colours 
let's go for something a bit bluer let's go for fiesta blue and i'm just going to use one color on these We've got a few other bits. I'm going to mask off that there and add this little open square. These tiny ones, I'm not going to worry about making sure they're straight because they're so wonky, there's absolutely no point. And I think we'll go for a lighter colour this time, maybe cummerbund. Now I'm going to remove my masks and see what I've got. Okay, I like that. A nice little row of, these are going to be presents if you hadn't guessed already. And if I hadn't told you, I can't remember if I said. So I think we're done with that. And I want to make sure my fingers are clean because they're stained blue and I don't want to get blue fingerprints all over my stamped image. So to make these look a bit more like presents, I'm going to cover them up so I don't smear anything. And I'm going to run a thin black gel pen around the edges of my boxes. And that will tie them in with the black sentiment. There, that defines them a little bit. Next, I want to add some bows to the top of the front three presents. And I've got some little bow stamps, again, from a different stamp set. And I think I'm gonna heat emboss those in gold. Before I do that though, I'm gonna give this a really good blast with my hairdryer to make sure the ink is dry. I'm also going to treat this with corn flour to remove any wetness, any static, any greasy fingerprints and that will reduce the chance of embossing powder sticking where I don't want it. And then I'm going to add my bows back in. And I'm going to use embossing ink to ink these. And now we'll dip that in gold embossing powder. That's come out nice and clean. There's just a few little stray bits of embossing powder that I can brush away. Now I'll heat that with my heat tool. I really like that, but I feel this present needs something else on it. I think maybe a ribbon going down the front. So I'm gonna add that with this embossing pen or embossing ink pen. So I can just run a line there and dip that back in the gold embossing powder. I'm ready now to attach this panel to the front of a four by six inch card blank. I'm gonna trim it down ever so slightly. That looks about right. And use some tape runner on the back to attach it. But just as a finishing touch, I'm gonna to add ever such a small drop of Gold Nouveau drops to the middle bit of the bow to give them a little bit more dimension so the bows don't look quite so flat. I think that works. And that is this card finished. Very clean, very simple. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's given you some ideas of the things that you can do with any square stamps that you have. And I hope you've enjoyed the series. Even if you haven't got the exact same stamp set that I've got, I'm sure you've got some geometric pattern stamps in your stash that you could use instead. Right, I shall be back here very soon with my next video, so do subscribe and ring the notification bell if you'd like to uh, be notified when that goes live. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.